And on the line, the Open Ironman race. And this one will be a beauty. We've had a lot throughout the day, but this one, Hayden, it's going to be a belter. So, yeah, we can see our start list. And on the line at the moment, we've got Ben Snook, Matt Collis, Harry and Chucky Hewitt, Kai Marketo, Patrick Ely will be there. And they're away. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The premium iron event of the day for men. We've just seen the female absolutely destroy the course. But Matt Collis, he's out flying already. Kai Marketo's had a great start in the middle also. Same with Ben Snook. So this is the first leg. So they'll settle into themselves. I'm not sure how quickly they'll be able to settle because I reckon there's a bit going on. But Matt Collis and... Harry Hewitt out in front, Kai Marketo in third place. So they've started exactly how they wanted to, and this is the opportunity that's going to be in front of them. Yeah, look, there will be no settling in this race. This race is going to go flat out from start to finish. These guys, they're extremely fit, they're extremely talented, and they are extremely competitive, and they will work this race as hard as they can for as long as they can. At the moment, the City of Perth competitor is just in the lead. He had a good line heading out to that can. He's an ex-water polo player, so he's got that background of swimming with his head up in the air, so he's quite happy to try on a site. Looks like Harry Hewitt from the City of Perth, second, and Chucky Hewitt. We saw Chucky win the open male swim race early on today. We know he can swim. They're both great craft exponents. City of Perth, again, Ethan Jackson. I spoke about him as a bit of a smoky. The kid just does not know when to stop. He will race as hard as he can. Jackson Blom there as well. So at the moment, it is a City of Perth whitewash. The first five competitors all from the city of Perth. I think it's Matty Collis, Chuck, uh, Harry Hewitt, Chucky Hewitt, and Ethan Jackson, then Jackson Blom, as they turn the first of the turning cans. So here we go. This is the Ironman Championship, the Open Ironman Championship of Western Australia. And around the cans they go, these men. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of hustle and bustle around there. So out in front we have, at the moment, it would be Matt Collis, I reckon. Out in, but Just in behind him is Charlie Hewitt and Chucky Hewitt. Then we've got probably... Oh, I'm not sure who it might be. It could be... It might be Patrick, Patrick Ealy. Ealy you know? Patrick Ealy's also there. So massive opportunity for Patrick to get in the hunt here. So great shots again from the SunSmart drone. So Wonderful Matt Collis shots. just turning the, the can, but he's got two hungry Hewitts right on his hammer. I like that. Two hungry Hewitts, absolutely. Here's the opportunity. So we've got one Trig Island competitor. He's probably about eighth or ninth at the moment. Kai Marketo. So then we've got the Sereno competitors. We've got Ben Snook. We've got, oh, I'm not sure who's in the middle there. Could be Ewan, Ewan Scrivens on the outside of him. Jackson Blom, I think also in this pack there. But this is a race in four at the moment and these four are gone. Yeah, so Chucky Hewitt now dragging alongside Matty Collis. Chucky Hewitt, the noted swimmer we saw. He won the open male swim. So Chucky is going to, he'll take the lead as they come into this race. But also looking there at the fourth spot, I think that might be Ethan Jackson. I think you're right, it's Ethan Jackson. So we've got the Hewitts, we've got Collis, and these guys all train together, don't they? Week in, day in, day out, day in, week out. So it's going to be a great race. Ethan Jackson swimming all over the top of the back of Harry Hewitt there at the moment. But there they are. There's the four City of Perth teammates. Again, all great mates. They spend a lot of time together. Harry Hewitt on the right-hand side, Matt Collis in the middle, Chucky Hewitt on the left, and Ethan Jackson there sitting on their feet in behind. Then you've got in that green cap of Sorrento, that is Patrick Eli. Now, we have seen Pat has just taken out the gold medal in the open mail board. We know he can paddle the board. He's also a, a wonderful ski paddler as well. So we've got two craft leagues to go. For Pat Eli, all he needs to do is stay in touch with these leaders, and he is right in amongst it. Absolutely. So as they approach the sand, a little bit of a wave coming. It's we'll open be, up the gap. It'll help Patrick, Patrick Eli, let me tell you. Pat a lift. Ethan Jackson stands. Harry Hewitt stands. Matt Collis stands. So the four City Kurt competitors are all going to hit the sand at the same time. So Matt Collis is up, Harry Hewitt is up, and Chucky Hewitt is up. Matt's in the lead. Harry Hewitt second at the moment. Chucky coming up for third. They need to get on these skis and get away quickly. Oh, party wave just happened there. So we've got the first four through. Patrick Eli fifth at the moment. He's had a great swim. Six, Ben Snook, also a great swim. See, he's coming in seventh now. We're not quite sure. Here comes the racing pack. Seventh will be one of the City of Perth. Then we've got Kai Marketo, eighth. So Ben Snook now on his ski, Patrick Ely on his ski. All the men on their skis now, they're all getting out clear and away they go. So this is where you need to watch the likes of, of, uh, of Pat Eli. He's currently fourth, Ethan Jackson in third. I called him as a smoke in the medals here. 
Ethan Jackson, definitely a contender for this race. At the moment, in the lead, the City of Perth competitors, Matty Collis and Harry Hewitt on the skis. They'll try and work to pull away, but Ethan Jackson, he will just hang on like that's a bone that his father's thrown him at home. He is an angry competitor, and he's a tough competitor. He can sit inside. So I think Ethan Jackson's almost closing the gap on Harry Hewitt and Matt Collis here. Chucky Hewitt didn't have the greatest of cleanest of starts getting on his ski. He's dropped back to about fourth spot there. That might be him coming into picture, or it might be the very dangerous Patrick Eli, who we have, we've seen on the craft, is an absolute dominant force. In fact, that is Pat Eli. So Pat Eli, hot on the, ha on the tail of Ethan Jackson. But at the moment, the two City of Perth competitors won two as they approach the halfway mark of this line. Ethan Jackson there in third place. Pat Eli on the wife in for nothing separating these top competitors. Absolutely not. So they've actually closed it up quite a lot, haven't they, Mick? So we'll head for all time. And Matty Collis is out in front. But I do like the way in which the Sereno competitors, both Patrick Eli and Dan Ben Snook, are actually coming home strong. The rest of the pack just being gapped at the moment, a couple of ski lengths in between them. But the opportunity for these guys as they head for home, the rating starts to lift. Harry Hewitt starts to grind away, as we know he does. Yeah, Harry Hewitt, he, he's been he's put in a mountain of kilometres on the ski. We saw he won the Avon Descent last year. He still does all the ocean racing. He's a great marathon paddler. Matty Collis loves the short stuff. Doesn't really love the long stuff, but he's staying with Harry Hewitt, and that's what he needs to do. He needs to try and stick on the washer Hewitt, but Hewitt has just stamped his authority on this race. He's pulled away from Matt Collis. He's put a good one or two ski lengths behind him. He probably knows as to what he's got to do, knowing Matt Collis is probably the better board paddler. But a wave coming, Ethan Jackson. In fact, it's Patrick Eli. Eli. Eli coming down the wave. We could have three. Matt Collis needs to pull over the top of this one as well. So Matty Collis and Harry Hewitt. I don't think Matt can. Can he? Yes, he can. He needs to work hard. He needs to keep paddling. He'll pull over. He'll get himself a little bit of a rest. But Patrick Eli is there as well as Harry Hewitt. Ethan Jackson not out of it. Coming on the wave behind them for those back markers. Ethan Jackson still there. Jack Blom as well. Up and running, Harry Hood in the lead. Matt Collis second and Patrick Eli in third. One leg to go in the open male Ironman final. Well, wow, here we go. This is going to be a climactic finish to this race. A race in three now. Patrick Ely, he'll definitely get across the water pretty quick here. As the back markers start coming in, Jackson Bloom is out here. He's hitting the water. Oh, look at Jackson. Eli. Look at Eli. He's coming already. Patrick Eli. So Matty Collis has pulled away from Howie Hewitt as we thought. Hewitt might try and jump in behind him. That's what he's got to try and do to stay on the wash of Matty Collis. Harry Hewitt there in second place. Pat Eli there in third. It's going to be a race between these three. Ethan Jackson, though, you can see him. He's just off screen at the moment in those red board, uh, the red speedos. He will not let go of this race. He's got his head down, but he's tiring, but he's still going to keep on fighting. At the moment, City of Perth in 1-2, Sorrento in 3, the final of the Open Ironman race. Absolutely. Here we go. The climactic stages of what has been a wonderful event. And, and I'll tell you what, Matty Collis can control the race if he wants to, but he'll need to work out what his strategy is because Patrick Eli, from a strategy point of view, will definitely be in the hunt here as we finish off. So Matt Collis turning the apex cans on the board. He's put about a body of two board lengths between himself and Harry Hewitt, but as we've seen this race at the end, that little wave, that shore break. Now Harry Hewitt lifts the ratings. He closes the gap on Matt Collis. Pat Eli sits there. Now we know Pat Eli has got a wonderful back end to his race. We saw it in the board. We saw that he could lift. He sits up and almost does butterfly on this board to, to keep that speed going. Matt Collis, he's got the beach in front of him. Our Harry Hewitt and Pat Eli, here they come. Here comes Pat Eli. He's going to try and get on the wash of Matt. Harry Hewitt now sits up. This is great racing, Hayden. Absolute great racing. So we're final final stages here, and we are as hot as a on a cat tin roof. On a, we're like a cat on a hot tin roof at the moment. Matty Collis, but Patrick Ely's rating is lifted. He's going to try and pull alongside. This could come into the wave zone. I know the man next to me is really re ha happy for his moment as you with his son in the front. But Matty oh, Collis, here comes Eli. Here comes Paddy Eli. Matt needs to dig deep. Patrick Eli's coming. Matt Collis is still going from the city of Perth. Matt's still going. Eli coming with the butterfly. Matty Matt Collis. Collis lifts his rating. He needs to get off this board and get away clean. So it's going to be a foot race up the beach. Matty Matt Collis, Collis gets off first. He has a look behind. Matt Collis, he might win. He might win his first ever Open Ironman title. And he's going to do it from the city of Perth. Matty Collis, state Ironman champion. Gold, a gold, great result gold. for you, son. Patrick Eli, a great result for you as well. These two great mates, we saw them go gold, silver in the board. They've reversed the order in the Open Ironman race. And Harry Hewitt picking up the bronze. So great racing. We've seen it all day, Hayden. And that was a fantastic result. And I love the emotion between Matt and Paddy.
and Harry Hewitt as well. Great racing, great mates, as we've said, and Benny Snook. Ethan Jackson's tremendous race for him, picking up that fourth. Benny Snook in fifth, and Chucky Hewitt there in sixth. But, oh, Hayden, what a great race. What a great race that was. Run by Matt Collis. He is absolutely deserved that one win. He's gone out real hard early and kept up that energy and look what happened. He's out on, out on top and he is the Ironman champion of Western Australia. You mentioned, but now Cam, yeah, drags Matty across to have a, a quick chat with the state open Ironman champion, Matt Collis with Cam Robbins. Commentary box, mate. Yeah, it's good to have Dad on in commentary. I always get my name mentioned a lot, so it's fun to look back at after. Oh, fantastic. You went out, you went out early hard, and you was that a game plan? Yeah, that was the plan. I knew Patrick's very, very good on both the ski and board, so I thought I could gaff him enough in the swim. Hopefully he wouldn't be able to catch me, and luckily that ended up working. There's a little bit of a bubble wave coming right behind you. I know you look behind your shoulder. You just got there. Man. How good does it sound, the 2023 Ironman gold medalist? Yeah, it sounds fantastic. We've been trying for a few years, and it's great to yeah, finally get that one on the belt. I think you better have a chat to your mum and dad. Thank your mum and dad, no doubt. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you. No, well done, mate. There he is, 2023 gold Ironman. Matty Collis, well done, mate. Cheers, thanks, mate.